We are now going to look at how to get data off of the Dylos and onto the computer and into a graph. So first, make sure that the Dylos Logger software is indeed installed on the computer that you are using. Secondly, make sure that you have the Dylos conversion sheet, that uh, it's an Excel spreadsheet that your teacher should give you. And then also, it's useful to go ahead in advance and make a folder on your desktop. You can call it Dylos, Dylos History, whatever you like. I called mine Dylos History. That's where I'm going to take my original data file and put it so that I can find it to get it into the Excel spreadsheet. So those are the three things that you should have on your desktop at this point. Now to uh, get the data off, the first thing you need to do is to plug in your Dylos. So grab the nine pin adapter cord, put the nine pin end into the Dylos on the lower left hand side of the machine, and then put the USB into the computer, and then you want to turn the Dylos on and then open the Dylos logger software. So double click on that and it should open. And you can see there's a whole lot of things to look at, but the first thing you want to make sure is right here where it says port. You want to make sure that you have the correct port selected for the adapter cord. So if you um, click on the arrow, you get a drop down menu and uh, I only have one option, it's COM4, and that is correct. That is my port. So just make sure that the port is connected. And then you also want to come over here to this folder, and this is where you're going to look for the folder that you're going to store your data. So um, I have already actually selected mine, but you can go to the desktop, and you scroll through until you find that folder you created. And let's see, where did mine go? It's alphabetical right there, Dylos History and then I click open and then you can name your file down here. I've downloaded multiple sets of data so um, I'm going to call this one Dylos Log 5 and then you just hit open <clears throat> and now you'll know where to find your text file. The next thing you need to do is make sure that this here cubic foot per 100 is selected. That is the way you will get the data that will graph correctly. You do not want it to be here on cubic foot, but cubic foot per 100. So make sure you select that. And then uh, all you have to do is come up here, and I believe right here is this our download history button is right next to the port button. So go ahead and click that. And a new screen pops up. Right? You can just hit download here and it'll identify the unit that's plugged in and then it should download your data. So here we go, we have a lot of data in here, this is good, it takes a moment, you can see the scroll bar keeps changing. Let it get completely downloaded. Okay, <clears throat> and when all the data has been downloaded into the log, uh, all you have to do is create log. So just click create log. And depending on how much data you take, it, it dictates how long it takes to do these things. Okay, so there now when you look back at this page, you should see all this data in here. And that's great. Now you're actually finished. You can double check to make sure you're finished with the Dylos Logger. Double check to make sure that your text file is indeed where you said it was. So come over to your um, file that you created on your desktop. And here is my Dylos Log 5. If I double click on it. I can see that the data is indeed in there. So I can now close the Dylos logger and turn off the Dylos. You are now done with the Dylos. You can unplug it from your computer now or later. So <clears throat> the next thing you're going to need to do is to get this data that you made into uh, Excel. So we're not quite ready for our conversion sheet yet. There's a couple steps we have to take in between. So what you want to do is find Excel on your computer and you're going to open a new Excel file and you're going to go to file and you're going to do open and click on open and then you can pick any file you want from anywhere on your computer. So we were on the desktop, medical, Dylos, history, open and uh, make sure that down here you'll see that our file does not show up and that is because right here in this box above the open button um, we have that we only want to open Excel files which is not the case you need to pull down that drop down menu and click on all files and then you'll see that the text files come up 
So then I am going to open number five. That's the one I just created. Okay. Now, this is the part that is really important. When you go to open that, you get this text import wizard. And uh, we need to do delimited uh, text. So make sure that delimited is clicked. And then hit next. And then you're going to pick your delimiters. And we need ours to be the comma and the space. So make sure you click comma and space. And then next. And then here you get the third step and it has these options here. It should automatically go to general and that is fine. So then you hit finish and your data shows up like this. It's not perfect, but it is good enough. And so what we're interested in, remember, is the um, small particle count, which you will see here in the third column over. So what you want to do is take that and highlight that column. Just do that by scrolling down. I'm sure you all know that. Okay, there we go. And then hit uh, Control C or right click and copy, however you choose to do it. Okay, now you can minimize that spreadsheet and you're going to open the Dilos conversion sheet. And that's what this looks like here. And you're going to come over to this Dilos PM 2.5 particle count. And you can click there and then hit paste, control V, or uh, right click if you like. <clears throat> so there, now our data is into the graph, which you can see automatically it gets generated here. The last thing that we need to do is to check the humidity. And I was 62% on the day that I collected data, so I enter 0.62 and enter, and now my graph is ready for analysis.